All right, we made it. We're here. New device, new computer. I'm able to edit pre-record videos now. This video, we're gonna take a look at some of the Fetranthas on the property. This is one of my favorite varieties of Jabodikaba, species I should say. Plinia Fetrantha is the species. There's a bunch of varieties of it. There's some overlap between Ariana and Fetrantha where who knows if they're the same species or not because you have some red Arianas, which are supposed to be white, you know, green fruit, or you have some Fetranthas that make green fruit that should be red. So to me, they're basically the same. If you get a good one, it's really good. Uh, I've got a bunch of varieties of it here and some that are fruiting now. I've got one in particular that we're gonna look at today that's making the best crop it's ever made. It's called Plinia Fetrantha variety Sanford and I named it after my grandfather uh, beautiful tree really strong tree all the Fetranthas seem pretty darn strong but this one takes the heat like a champ takes the cold like a champ it doesn't like drought but it can handle a little bit um, so I'm gonna get up walk around show you some of these Fetranthas and why I like them and the differences between them and we'll harvest a big crop of Sanford fruits. Here we go. All right, first we're going to take a look at this tree, which is uh, Plinia Fetrantha. They're all going to be Fetranthas, so I'm going to stop saying Plinia Fetrantha before each tree, but this is uh, Rosa de Pescos. I think it means long neck, pink skin. You can see the fruits on there. I covered the tree with moss to protect it from predator, you know, things that would steal the fruit, and it's working out really nicely. I've got some little fruits in here. These so far haven't been the biggest fruits, but they are good. And I think they will get bigger with time. You can see these ones are covered up in here. I'm pulling them out. Nothing stole them. They're definitely ripe, real ripe, super ripe. Sorry, I'm doing a bad job of filming. Dropped one over here in the pot somewhere. There's a bunch of them hiding in here. Oh hell, the one I dropped was pretty small anyway, but I just wanted to show you these, the size of them. The tree, this tree fruited a lot faster from seed than my um, Sanford Fetrantha. So the Rosa de Pescos RDP is what we call it for short. is a pretty quick fruiter and it's very prolific. It makes a lot of crops. This is like the second or third crop in a row it's made. There is a bunch of fruit under underneath this moss, but it's hard to see. Nice crop in there. Oh, dropped that one again. Anyhow, sweet fruit, good fruit. It always has that mottled appearance, even when it's ripe. These are soft. So those are, those are these, the Rosa de Pescos. Highly recommended, but um, let me show you a little something different here in a second. Next tree. All right, this tree right here is the Otto Anderson. And it's just like, hey Clark, how you doing? Good. This is a pre-recorded video. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna edit it later. Say hey to everyone. Hey everyone. Thanks for all your hard work and help here, Clark. You're welcome. Thanks for the opportunity. You're welcome. Now this is the, Otto Anderson, I grafted it a long time ago and it took a long time to fruit from graft. I don't know why. I've had other people get gra grafted trees from this tree. This particular tree, I've sold scions and grafted trees from it that fruited in two years time. Mine took like eight years or more and it is flowering and fruiting. There's one right there. The fruit gets bigger than this for sure, maybe twice the size or more. But um, let's go ahead and taste it. I'll tell you what I think. Got a really good flavor. It could have been riper, but it had a really nice flavor. Definitely unique. Three small little seeds. I'll put those in my pocket. This thing's been fruiting quite a bit too. It's already made one crop, has another crop on the way. This one, when you grow it from seed, is very sensitive to uh, water quality, soil pH all that kind of stuff. But when it's grafted, it grows really easy. So this is one that's sensitive, uh, more so than others, I definitely think. So some of them are more sensitive than others to pH. And as a seedling, like I said, this one's a little sensitive. You'll be able to grow it and fruit it. It takes about four to seven years to fruit from seed, which is pretty typical for most of them. And it's a nice tree there. I've got several of them that are starting to flower finally. And I grafted these <laughs> 10 years ago. It took nine or 10 years to flower and fruit, but I've got others that fruited from this tree 
before it fruited. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, plenty of Phytranthus, we're going through them. And now we're about to move on to this tree that's covered up here. And this is the Sanford, which we're gonna pick the fruit from. There's Rex. And so what we did is we took the tree as it was about to fruit and we covered it with a cage and a net. The cage is too big. The holes, rats and, and squirrels can crawl right through and I'm sure there's even some songbirds that could probably fit into that. So we put this shade cloth around it. You can see inside there's a mega crop. And some of these fruits are the biggest jabuticabas I've, I've, I've seen. So they're, they're very large, very nice tree. Typical of the Phytranthas, they have that kind of costate appearance. Costate meaning like a pumpkin with the ridges. You see how they kind of have the, the ridges a little bit. They're like veiny, if you will. But these are ready to pick. If you let them sit on the tree much longer than this, as with scarlet fruits too, some of these, you know, the escarlet, if you let them get what you think is gonna be black or deep dark purple, sometimes they get overripe, especially with the high heat. So this shade cloth is actually helping the fruit stay protected from the super high heat. And I'm gonna take this uh, net off and pick the fruit and complete this video. All right, here we go. All right, here we are by the tree, Sanford. This tree is probably going on 10, maybe 12 years old by now. It fruited after about seven years old. I ordered seeds from Fruit Lovers Nursery. That's how I could find out how old it is. I gotta go through my emails. I think it was around 2009, maybe, maybe even sooner. I ordered some seeds from him. I, I requested white Jabuticaba seeds. I couldn't find them anywhere, plenty of Phytrantha. I planted like 20 of them. This one came up looking a little different, so I kept it separate. The leaf just looked a little smoother, maybe a little different. So I got this labeled as a Ariana seed, okay? My theory is, is it just got slipped in and it was a Phytrantha seed that just got slipped in or it's a hybrid. I, I've never called it a hybrid because if you're gonna have a hybrid between an Ariana and a Phytrantha, that's the same damn thing to me. That's no different. So, you know what I mean? Anyway, the fruit on it are massive. I mean, really big. When we pick them off, you'll be able to see more of a size uh, difference or whatever in my hand you'll see for scale but the trunk is really beautiful it's like got four stalks that are kind of like a hand coming up I've always loved the shape of it very stout tree never fruited this much ever just want to back up and show you the whole size of it it grows pretty darn slow and it's taken less than 25 degrees let's, let's twist one of these off you twist them look at the size of that these are definitely perfectly ripe. You don't want to let them get too ripe. These are just, you'll see a lot of the Petrantha varieties have that heavy costate appearance. See the, the veins in it, like a pumpkin kind of. And um, when I showed you earlier, the uh, Otto Anderson doesn't have that costate appearance as much. So look at the size of some of these. We're going to twist off. Oh, look at this guy. That's like some of the biggest fruit I've had other than Grimmel gets about that big. But some of these are just gorgeous. The way they have these elongated necks. Look at that, it's so cool. I don't wanna break them off. And I imagine these are definitely have a lot of chance to have a hybrid. Man, I'm, I'm just excited about these. And you know, the seeds are gonna be big too. Of course the seeds are gonna be big. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing this. I don't think I have to film it all, but let me pick off some of the award winners really quick. Show you how you do it really gently. Kind of if you have a really big one you don't want to hurt, just slowly twist off whatever you can and then get to that big boy like this right here. See, it's locked in. Let's see if I can show you a better angle. It's like I can't, I can't get it off without busting it. Let me get all this stuff out of the way here. Set those down. There's still some fruit on here. I'm gonna have to rewrap the tree up. See, it's got so much that's not ripe. You don't wanna knock any of that off. I'm trying to get these huge ones right here. I don't wanna hurt them. They're like locked in. You always end up tearing one. I'm about to tear this one maybe. I'm trying not to. Okay, this one first. I'm trying to twist them. That one's coming. That one's coming. Here we go, come on. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. 
Don't want to let go, buddy. I've twisted that thing around, okay? All right, this is the one I'm looking for right here. Damn, I need a knife to get this without tearing it. It's so big, it won't come. There we go. That is the biggest Fetrantha fruit I think I've held. That's big. All right, I'm going to continue this, and we'll come back with a full box of uh, picked fruit. But the size on that is ridiculous. Let me get one more big one, actually. I saw one that was hanging out. There it is, right here. Let's see who's bigger. These are the two whoppers here. Yeah, the other one's bigger. That's like a damn kombucha. All right, we'll be back with a full box of fruit and this cleaned up and rewrapped. Woo! Folks, I picked everything I could. There's still a good, maybe uh, two pounds on the tree that I didn't pick. That's just not quite ripe enough you know i want to let these go a little further this one could come off but some of these could go a little further I'll show you where they're at how they're looking that's what i left on the tree and then look at what i got in the box here i'm going to weigh that out and we're going to make something out of it in the next video i think i'm going to make a jabuticaba soda but look at these are the honorable mentions here some of the biggest ones right here Try not to break them. I'd like to weigh them. But that's as big as big as I've I've usually seen them get. I don't I don't remember many varieties getting this big. Maybe the Grimmel, but not um, these are looking a little bigger than I remember the Grimmels, but that's debatable. Anyhow, we're gonna move on inside, maybe weigh these up, and continue the video. Alright, here we are inside. Let's get a weight on some of the biggest fruit here. This is zeroed out, two point, oh, it's a nickel, five grams. So let's see, 18, nine, 19, six, 17, eight. The biggest one's coming up, 18, nine. Maybe I weighed that one twice. Here's the big one, 22.5. No, you got to do that. And then this is what we're going to weigh all this fruit together next. See how much the whole crop weighs. Well, not the whole crop, but everything I picked. There's still a couple pounds on the tree. Finally, now we're going to weigh the whole thing. Let's see if I can get this situated where I can fit it on my scale. Zeroed out. Let's first take the crop here. Set it down. I have another exact container. Let's weigh that. That comes in at one pound, two ounces for the container. Now let's see what this comes in at. It feels like it weighs about three pounds. One pound, two ounces. Three pounds, 12.6, so. Less than, it's about, uh, yeah, a little under three pounds, two and change. But man, still more on the tree. I, I bet you there's about five pounds total on that tree. And that's about the, third or fourth crop it's ever made and the biggest crop it's ever made what we're going to do next is make something out of this i'm planning on making it on the next video i'd like you to stay tuned for the next video where i'm going to take this juice it and make a soda out of this the juice i got to look up how to you know probably make a syrup and then research something on making soda but I'd, i've always wanted to have a jabba di Kava soda and that's what I'm going to do with this. So I'm going to leave it in the fridge. You can leave this fruit in the fridge for almost a week or more. I don't want to do it that long. I'm going to leave it in the fridge for a couple of days, show you how to juice it and turn it into uh, maybe a syrup, I guess, and then make a soda out of it. Or maybe there's another way to make a soda where you don't have to make a syrup and you can just use the juice. We're going to figure it out. I'm going to research it and we'll be back. Thanks for watching Flying Fox Fruits. This was an informative video about Plinia Fetrantha varieties, and these are the Sanford fruits. And I forgot to show you my Fetrantha Branca. It doesn't have fruit on it. I just showed you the ones that are fruiting now. So anyhow, thank you for watching.